just uh, getting started here. get my stuff all set up again here. Watching it. Assuming my levels are fine, they look good in OBS. Apparently this is actually the subsistence disc, but that's nonsense. Just wait until people are around. Actually, can I? Yeah, let's just sit back here. I think I think deceptive mirror is lurking. Are you lurking deceptive mirror? Just give us a minute. <laughs> I'll call you out on that. Hey, Snowfuego. Just, uh, still just gonna hold on a little bit here. So pretty much, so we're on to game number three. Uh, this game is a prequel to the others. Um, hello, MCS0083. Uh, so yeah, this, so this is... <laughs> so this is a prequel um, following the events of uh, who will be named Naked Snake in this game. Nothing suggestive there. Uh, who will eventually become the big boss that gets cloned and resulting in uh, Solid Snake, Liquid Snake, and Solidus Snake. It's under special. Oh, just instructions on how to play the game. All right. Well, we got some people here, so we'll we'll get started. Um, oh man, <laughs> this difficulty mode selection. I don't understand. I like MGS two. Let's see. What? Okay, I'm guessing this is controls based, uh, and then difficulty. <laughs> I am naked elephant. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two. 
east and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. So yeah, this game is set in the Cold War. The invisible elephant in the room. Probably get through the intro cutscene tonight by around midnight. And, uh. No, I don't think the opening cutscene's too long, actually. Um. So we, we should be able to actually get to playing today. <laughs> Acting up. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Put out that cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Panty waste. Hey, you're allowed no seeing release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Let's flick that out into the rest of the plane. That'll be fine. Hey, what's your name, Marwan? Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Are we just gonna call uh, Earl Abnus Earl now? Sunrise. External temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. That's kind of cold. Hey Garuda. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Yeah, we're just starting. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay. All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. The video acting up. That's really, really weird. Like I even I turned down my bitrate uh, last time. Whatever. When I I guess it was when I was doing the Commodore stream. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission. <laughs> No, the virtuous mission. Did you say nerds? The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the hey, Soviet 754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first... World's first yellow job. <laughs> ...in history. The Earth was blue. 
there was no god. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the west. He used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over a the mole. wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. Oh, were you streaming the past week? a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. That's okay. My stream is more important. October I'm just kidding. 16, <laughs> Didn't have to do that. Word that. The Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. Of course, if you want to do them, that's fine, I guess. Dismantle and remove the missiles. Oh. <laughs> announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down. Instead, placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic oh, negotiations okay, were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, so this is today's the history day, lesson. The Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba, <laughs> so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. Hey, what the? Uh... In order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. I just noticed the one where the US I'm showing is having zero followers now. Turkey. I don't know what's going on. No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete. And we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic okay, value whatsoever weird. to either the US or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse. A cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean? The Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. Yeah, and I know PayPal. Yeah, he clearly was having some problems with PayPal for sure. The next day, I got Sokolov. I didn't realize the there were Twitch issues as well. Him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, "Save me!" until he disappeared from my side. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles about Sokolov. Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? That green isn't no. as bad as uh, whoever it is on Felicia's stream who had white as their I guess you're right. color. We don't know it's the pretty details, bad. But it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests. Of frequent Palatinus. nuclear tests. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, <laughs> conducting a field test of the weapon. Time for a straw poll. chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Spaghetti sandwich. 
totally a sandwich. I'm gonna start naming various sandwich options for you, Erlanis. Marmite sandwich. <laughs> it's the same voice actor, but yeah, he does a tortel yeah, okay, tortellini and garlic bread straight up every day. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino <laughs> Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the West. I saw garlic bread, and it's paired with tortellini, so I mean, that's just like an insta vote. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Parachute! Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped through my point. goggles. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over... Is that the mirror? Did you make a metal gear to launch brownies? She's equipped with two 6-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. It sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. So close to the edge. <laughs> Metal Gear Beef. I don't understand why he has blonde hair. I don't remember him having blonde hair. But of course, that's all just a game. By calling him Jack, they're trying to mind fuck you into thinking it's Raiden. Again. Even make him kind of look like Raiden. Oops. What? I... Okay, maybe not. Wait, what's going on? Ah, fuck. This happens, like, every time. I don't know what's going I think this, uh... Hey, Chaotic Clutch. I think this joy... Um, what's it called? This controller is a little bit messed up. Yeah, let's try it now. Alright, well... I don't know. Maybe the controls are different. Got a knife. All right. Ring a lang. Ring a lang. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory. Somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. 
Snake. Oh, you don't like snakes? Oh, is that? It does it base your like appearance at the start based on what option you do there? Yeah, I did do. I like MGS too. Be careful. You might not have a choice. I do have MGS four. What should I call you? Unfortunately, I'll have to stream it through the composite, but. I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Oh, and Snake. Yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This isn't right. <laughs> Time for the snake to shed his skin. Okay, yeah, so that is just entirely a mindfuck thing for no apparent reason. Yeah, I don't think I've ever selected that I like MGS2. I think... I don't... In fact, I don't remember what I've selected the other times. I probably just selected I like MGS3. Sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This yes. kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons they, they and equipment is more are manly. on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly yes, this is a prequel. Um, so this is set during the Cold War. Uh, this is yeah, the guy who was cloned to make Solid Snake, Liquid Snake, and Solidus. I see. Well, you better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can <laughs> see it from here. Whoa. Big knowledge bunch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace oh, okay. in the gunship. My frequency is So if I selected MGS one it would have been easier. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. You need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. Uh, yes. Oh, actually, yeah. I think I turned the volume down for, for the Commodore stream. How's that? I think that's maybe a bit better. I just doubled the volume essentially. Just uh, just run around a bit and make some ruffling noises. So, assuming you can hear me over that, we should be good. Yes, there are clones. Um, so wait, where's my trap? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, there's no one talking, so it's kind of hard to tell. Actually, it's, uh, what just happened there? I... Okay. Crawling's a little bit more wonky can't bump your legs through things. I'll just uh, do a little codec call here and Snake, do you see any tufts How's of that? grass? Yeah. What kind of grass? Just ordinary grass. Nothing special. You should check it anyhow. It's pretty thick grass, about waist high. If you crawl into the grass, you can advance undercover. Yeah, when see you it's do, major the town. camera automatically switches to intrusion view. If you want to stand up again, Press and hold the crawl button once more. If you press the crawl button briefly, you'll crouch in that spot. This allows you to observe things without blowing your cover. 
Got it? That's better now? Yeah, Perfect. This is where I had it before. What? I just had to Was turn it down for the Commodore so? stream. What do you mean? You had me check it just so you could tell me that? That's right. Pretty useful, huh? Right. Shall we carry on? By all means. Even when hidden in grass, if you make a noise, your enemies will locate you. When enemies are nearby, move with slight yeah, movements with the left analog said. stick. That way you can proceed with minimal disturbance. Hello, small fry. We're just getting started, so you really haven't missed anything. Alright, where's my crap? It's up in a tree somewhere. Ring line. Snake, where do you <laughs> think you're going? Okay, I missed it. You can't expect to proceed with Oops. Yeah, yeah. Got in a backpack. Or my backpack is caught in a tree. Oh, I have to climb the tree? I don't remember doing that, but that's okay. There it is. Where is it? There it is. Press the action button. Oh, that's where I can climb the tree. Give me my crap. There we go. Yeah, he's continuously calling me up like every two seconds. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. No shit. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. No, Keep my an skin. Eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any <laughs> weapons and equipment so kind of that you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. Same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost, Snake. Yeah, there's a lot of military games. <laughs> there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. I'm basically playing through them in uh, in release order rather than chronological order. Just so. for the sake of death pill for that purpose. reality. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, 
Survival is of utmost importance. Let's see who our first member of the support gallery of morons is. Monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She. Hello, Ooh. Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. Linking What's your dolphin name? porn? What? To make up for being a dick? Funny. <laughs> I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also Raper? the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. <laughs> Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A no. legendary soldier Big boss, your just mentor. the boss. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many Ooh. years is it then? Boss? That's right. It's me. <sighs> Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 <laughs> days, and 18 hours. Not creepy at all. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. <laughs> no, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, Technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to figure me. Figure it out, you idiot. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And Wait, politics what? are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not Things are a bit heavy handed in this game, I think. But you're looking for a reason to fight. Uh, I think you're it's pretty obvious what Naked Snake fighter, is doing right now. But you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother <laughs> you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live Take as a soldier shit. or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself <laughs> to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the <laughs> pillowcase on his no head? matter who's in charge. He does not People have a pillowcase on. Dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. He just has a. So there's no such Actually, thing he doesn't as have an too much of a mullet. absolute terms. 
The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. <laughs> it suits you well. Suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught oh, you are might be are worse on stream to too. CQC. Well, it's not too bad. Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major. The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. virtuous mission now yeah everyone's kind of condescending well in this game snake is sort of supposed to be basically a a new guy to this kind of mission I guess um, just give me a minute I just have to send a little email here I didn't. I didn't anticipate. I've just got to respond to an email, get someone so I can help them out later tonight. Yeah, I was actually impressed, because last time I watched Geek Girl's stream, uh, she made about 120, which was, which is pretty reasonable. Um, I mean, yeah, making 300 bucks a day is, is pretty good. I think there are quite a few people who do stream for a living nowadays.
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's better than whoring, but I mean, it's certainly good pay. <laughs> Uh, which name more when she uh, she has like a, a display on screen that says how much she's received from donations? Uh, okay, where's my game? All right, so sorry about that. So back to the game. Um, so we got our backpack of stuff off of this tree. Now we want to keep going. I mean, I don't, I don't know the going rate, but wow, a thousand dollars the Monday before Christmas—that is, that is pretty good. It, oh, in one donation, yeah. I mean, sometimes you just get people who are willing to give a lot of money for no apparent reason, really. I mean, I guess that's good and all. Uh, hello. Crocodiles. We'll just kind of... Oh shit, I'm sinking. I'm sinking! I'm sinking! No, fuck you, crocodile! Oh, alright, go to sleep. Yeah, if you if you install uh, what's it called BT TV, but which is for uh, better Twitch TV, it's an extension for at least Chrome, and I think there's a Firefox one as well. Um, you can you don't have to type it in for everything. There's it like it'll uh, there's a menu to put in all the emotes um, that you have access to. I'm not necessarily a huge fan, but it's gives you that at least lowercase f all caps yeah major i've spotted two enemy soldiers they're probably kgb troops sent to guard sokolov ak47s and grenades all the emotes are uh, cap sensitive so Snake? Your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? All of them the are lowercase f. The point it's of just, this mission uh... is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting so, yeah, camouflage this is a, this is a survival neat, viewer. Um, the uniform option lets you pick your thing. uniform, while the face option called? lets you Feature. change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're <laughs> bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. Uh, you, you want me to save? Your maybe, or maybe you're just testing index. it. The I should probably index save. Shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? There's all sorts of ridiculous camo outfits. Like, really silly ones. Oops, I didn't mean to go to that many. I want to go to camo. What face camos do I have? Oh, right, okay. So I can use, I can use my riding mask. 
wear the splitter black face paint woodland which is more effective for my current location or no face paint we'll go with the woodland Ooh. Um, and we will go just so that you can see we'll go through them all you got tire stripe, you got leaves tree bark squares back up against brown backgrounds or black but in this case leaf is the most effective as you can see in the top right corner my uh, uh, what's it called? Camo index changes depending on where I am. So right now it's pretty good, but as I crawl out here, suddenly it kind of sucks. I shot you. There we go. Yes, tactical face paint, not just. Make up face paint. Oh, wait, I'm doing that wrong. Since, as we know, this is the only manly way to pick up a body. Ooh, this guy's dropping all sorts of goodies. There's no one around, so no need to crawl around like an idiot. Right? Huh? Oh shit, there is someone there. Who was that? No one. You can't see me. It's no one. Shit. There's nothing wrong. Just manhandle this guy for his junk. Bullets. Sometimes your makeup is tactical. Do you frequently go on sneaking missions, small fry? Novadno. Is that beehive? Is that it there? That's it there. Huh? I hear something. You heard nothing, and I also yeah, apparently screwed that up. Because there aren't just bees everywhere. Kentucky to Florida? It's not that far. 
Oh shit, there's dudes on this bridge. Nothing wrong. The bees were the trap. There weren't bees. Oh shit. Totally don't fall, please. Manhandle these dudes. Actually, I wonder. These guys are asleep right now. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oops. Well, there he goes. <laughs> that was kind of my goal anyway. There we go. They'll be fine, right? Tranquilizers in a river. They're good. <laughs> Ooh, mushrooms. I want some added mushrooms. Fuck yeah, mushrooms. So that's one of the other cool things about this game. Um, essentially, you can you can kill animals or trap them and stuff, and um, they have various nutritional value for you. Some give uh, some give you stamina, some give you health, and various amounts, obviously. No one, no one. Damn it! You weren't supposed to turn around. No, my cam that's true, my my camo is not good for this area. Um it's also not good because I'm just running around. So that's that's part of my problem as well. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. Game almost over. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. <laughs> He's not dead. He was just asleep. Sentries posted around Don't worry about that, witch named Marwan. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not <laughs> be exposed to any right. kind of danger. That's right. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. <laughs> uh, it's like it's like a dart gun. Probably if I look in, in here, there's probably like a description of what I'm using. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so yeah, my camo sucks. And also I lie down on the ground. Even then, it's not great. Oops. I should save, though. That's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Saving the game, Snake? Yeah. Just so I don't, you know, get killed or something and then lose an hour of progress here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, small fry. Those I think those guys might be dead. <laughs> I did kind of toss them off. Snake, you ever heard of God's <laughs> a very monsters? high bridge into the water, oh, like rapids. It? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla. I like that there's he multiple to options. For size you. A nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. <laughs> Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer this and closer is to Tokyo, paramedic. obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies? Wild then? and wonderful of whites of West Everybody Virginia? Loves Godzilla. What I'm the sure hell is that? Movies. <laughs> I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Uh, we're talking about Godzilla because it's a save. Because uh, we were saving the game. So, of course, it's got to be something massively off topic. And because it's anti nuke. So, that's. This particular game being set in the Cold War has um, some heavy anti nuke uh, messages. Okay, so that's apparently my best face camo. But Tiger Stripe is better for the ground. Terrible, terrible. I googled it, but I didn't get a chance to click on any of the links. Uh, why can't I? Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. So thirsty? this guy. Oh, there he is. Who's that? No one! Go to sleep. Oh, shit. It's a good thing I saved, isn't it? HQ respond. Shit. Um, I believe your stamina... I, I don't remember exactly. I think your stamina drops over time. And so, essentially, you do have to eat at regular intervals. Um, it's not its not too crazy. Okay, am I getting, oh shit, I'm getting shot at from the other side. So this is not how you play this game. This guy is kicking my ass. That's right. So in this game, you have to actually go into the menu to eat stuff. That's so great. <laughs> Fantastic. I want to heal my health. Oh. 
Wait, these all just shit. I'm just wasting my stuff. <sighs> yeah, I probably I probably did shoot him in the head with the dart. What is that? Snake, do you read? Snake. Major. Snake, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. You're far from okay. Look at your life gauge. You're on your last leg. No, I can still. <gasps> See? Snake, this is a solo sneaking mission. Do don't you know get what in that fights. Means? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> huh? It means there's no backup, no cavalry. If you're taken out, nobody is there to take your place. Pull out for now and recuperate. Find a hiding place and get some rest. Your life gauge will gradually recover with time. But the speed of your life gauge recovery depends on the level oh, of your stamina that's right. gauge. So get plenty to eat, then get some rest. Yeah, it's just you a snack me? break. Stop stop shooting uh, me for a few minutes. Me? I hear you. Time to run the fuck away. Run! Combat roll. Come on over here, okay? Just leave in town for a bit. Oh shit, they're still after me. Oh shit, this guy's. Oh, and apparently my silencer is gone. Well, I'm dead. So that one, well, right? Snake is dead. Snake, what happened? Snake, snake. Okay, so I mean, now I'm not on alert, at least. So we got that going for us. So we'll just kind of chill here for a bit. Yep. Okay, there's my health going up now. At a nice fast rate. We've got full stamina. Unfortunately, it's still slow as hell. And this is this is not cool. I don't wanna Unfortunately I don't think you can even get like ration equivalents to uh what were in the other games. So you can't just super heal really fast. Uh it's a good game for beginners. Um hmm. Depends what you're trying to play. Any idea of what kind of game you want to play? The Witch Name Mara? Look at that face of rest. So we're almost up to half half health. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that that's the thing with Steam. Stuff goes on sale all the time, and you can just kind of try stuff for like 5 or $10. Stuff that's worth a lot more than that. Okay, yeah, so that's sort of your... That's what you've played and I guess kind of enjoyed. Then, uh, yeah, what do we got here? Hmm. Just going through my list here. Um... <laughs> You might want to give DuckTales Remastered a shot. That's a really good quality game. Um, sort of a side-scroller game. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Oh, Chariot, of course. Chariot's a lot of fun. That's on Steam. Oh, yeah, I mean, even Buck, Buck 49. What I mean is, like, 5 or $10 and you're getting, like, AAA quality games. Uh, what else have we got here? Orcs Must Die too. That's a that's a fun game. That's uh, a lot of fun. I've been playing that. Collectible Cats playing that. Uh, Ryan Ryan's been playing that sometimes. I think. What else have we got? Yeah, those are two recommendations I've got just off the top of my head. Yeah, DuckTales Remastered is... And it looks really nice, too. I have a feeling my health does, won't go above 50%. Although, I guess it kind of is already, isn't it? Um, but I think I think that's enough. I just need to, I just need to sneak. Paperboy. God damn it. Paperboy is... Impossible. What I do want to play is Bubble Bobble. Because that game can be played forever. <laughs> I don't think you can even buy Paperboy for anything anymore. Oh fuck. I don't have a silencer. <laughs> I'll just kind of nope the fuck out of here. Is paper built? That? Oh yeah, por Portal, that's a good recommendation. Definitely. Um, Portal and Portal 2, obviously. Oh shit. Who's that? No one. Radio, get us some backup. God damn it. <laughs> if I have anything better, I must have something better. Come on. Snack break. I have nothing better. Yeah, Minecraft, Minecraft can be a lot of fun. Um, I mean... Oh fuck, a snake. What's wrong? Look, 
Cough snake. Can you really, like, I did not realize that the paperboy was still a thing that could be purchased. I didn't think there were new versions of it to purchase. HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the enemy. Commence alert formation. Yeah, so, um, you can actually kill snakes and stuff. And hey, check that out. Now I got some tasty snake snacks. Hey, Vlasno. See, look at this. I can eat some reticulated python. If I so... was so inclined. Or right, this bad boy. How about some rat? Ooh, another snake. What's that sound? Sound is nothing. Don't worry. I'm just getting some snacks for later. Got you cornered. We'll wait for this caution to end. Hey, this food is an unknown. Someone just followed me. M. Riven. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got I've got two snakes and two rats. And some mushrooms. It's a perfect perfect meal for later. I have never heard of Lukey Games. Still some dudes lurking around. Oh yeah, Mr. Ivan probably makes more sense. I think it's M. Riven. Oh yeah, 18 beers? Actually, shit, that's pretty good. Gonna stick someone with this knife. I assume Luki Games ends up with, uh, like... They sell cartridges, it's not like they're just selling ROMs or something. Man, the caution state that will never end here. Shit, what? 
Look at my wild moves. Fuck you, man. I'm just gonna swirl this knife around like a badass. Oh, here we go. Got to Yeah, what do you want? Ring a ling, ring a ling. Major, I'm in front of Sokolov's cell, but the door won't open. Hold on, Snake. What's the current condition? Condition? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and imagine old Xbox games are pretty cheap. Alert. Exactly. I already said you can't contact Sokolov during battle. Don't you listen to people when they're talking? No. Well, anyway, the reason that door won't open is probably because Sokolov is blocking it himself. He's scared. No one. In order to break Sokolov out of there, you'll need his cooperation as well. So stop scaring. Contact Sokolov later. Dancing in place naked. The enemy. <laughs> Once things have stabilized, try it again. Got it? Alright, so wait for your shit to calm down. Come on in here. Life you. We'll all be good. Yeah, Major Tom, the toolbox. Oh, god damn it. You're not allowed to have a knife. Dangerous. You hurt someone with that. so many of these dudes. What? A better gun, damn it. Give me your moves. Very bad at this game. God damn it. I'm gonna die again. Just kinda chill here. criteria is having a library card. Hey, Lee Angeles. Here we go. Yeah, caution mode. See if I can... Oh yeah, let's put on some better camo. I'm gonna try and go hide behind those boxes until... Time is up. Splitter. And... Squares or tree bark? Let's go for squares, just because. I'm sure they can't see this.
hide here in my orange outfit. Total stealth against this wall. Match perfectly. <laughs> Buying nicer toilet paper. I think these all play off the same themes. Being able to do whatever the hell you want. Someone saw a corpse and now they're now they're scared. Caution went back up again. cousin has a daughter, and I'm her godfather, um, so something I, I want to get her at some point, she's like, she's not two yet, but soon to be two. Oh. No, it must, no, sorry, she is almost three, I guess, um, There's a, a board game called Robot Turtles, and it's uh, kind of designed as a a very a very beginner sort of introduction to programming and being a programming guy. It's kind of something I think would be an amusing kind of entry, in, and it's designed for small children. It's called did I say it? Robot Turtles? sort of based around uh, logo and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's it, Garuda. Yeah, it looks like an interesting little board game, um, but yeah, I, like I don't know. I think I think it depends, but on, on the particular kid. But I think some would be able to take it, take that game earlier, earlier than others. I don't know. All right, there we go. Really hope there isn't just a guy right outside. Understood. Return to your position. There we go. Sneaking mission complete. <laughs> that was very poor. I'm kind of embarrassed about how bad that was. Men, you'll never get it from me. No, I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah, I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? <laughs> Inability to not curse. It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? 
Colonel Volgan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Uh, the graphics are actually a lot better than the other game. Thunderbolt. Than the last one. Never heard of him. Things are... It He's is weird, though. Things are a little bit more blurry a man in exchange for higher resolution back. graphics, I think. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful resistance with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy <laughs> last November. Also weird. Kennedy's assassination. Being in Red Square. And Precisely. Seeing all these in things sense, is very Khrushchev strange. Has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volk. Yeah, it might be a, a bit of a, yeah, like a another flashback style thing. Facility, much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing <laughs> here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Eighteen month F bomb is pretty good. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. <laughs> Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come, I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. <laughs> it's especially... Way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. If you switch to switch to another language no. for your swear words, I it's kind of uh, place. Let's go. obvious when you're swearing. Colonel Vulcan. All right, hop on my back. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. <laughs> Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokol off to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. <laughs> Except for the I tons see. of bodies. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Doing research to find uh, suitable curse words that won't sound like curse words. <laughs> Ebola caused. They had to cut it out. They had to cut the Ebola out of them. Just 
stealth. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? Who could this huh? be? The Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Grand gesturing. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? An ocelot is a type of cat. In fact, an ocelot is a... Wait, is an ocelot a lynx? Am I confused? I thought I looked this up before. Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. Okay, no, sorry, they aren't, so they aren't the same as Link. to just do that when you turn around. Crew operatives! What is that stance? <laughs> huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss... Then die. Major, leave it. Shoot the other one. You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? 
I see what you were trying to do. But testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. Hmm. You filthy American dog! Wearing his spurs, of course. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volga. You're pretty good. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Meow. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgans. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Uh, so I guess I have to do this, right? Because what kind of a the kind of an opportunity do I have here? There's us a lot. Um, obviously, since this is a prequel. Oh, oops, that's not. That's no better, is it? There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Ocelot is dead. You created a time paradox. You snake. You can't go changing the future like that. So that's just a neat little, uh, neat little thing that's in there. All right. So obviously, don't kill Ocelot because he can't be dead, since he isn't dead in the other games. Uh, so. Now we need to find. I don't remember if I need to find Sokolov again or if I just need to. I have a general idea of where I'm going. So we'll just. You can't go changing the future like that! I think I just have to go over to this gate. I don't remember. Okay, maybe not. I guess I need to find Sokolov again. It's up here. Bird snacks. He didn't go back into his little room, did he? Is there anything in here for me to, to find? So thirsty, gotta stay moist.
Well, I guess I go. I go back. Never mind. I'm. Oh, this isn't even the menu I meant to go into. I want to change my armor. Not my armor. Wow. Words work for me. I want to change my camo. Since these are all equally bad, let's just put on the Raiden mask. Raiden mask just for fun. Um, I guess Tiger Stripe is probably best. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's an innuendo of last night. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I was just supposed to go back this way. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Spetsnaz? Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished! Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could this have. This just sounds wrong. He should not be wearing a riding Look. mask. Casca say. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The Shagahod. The Treading Behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Innuendo? Or like, in your endo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of Phase 1. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? <laughs> yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please. Yeah, take it's me even to America. The ride mask is even worse because his mouth doesn't move. They cannot so. complete it without my <laughs> it just, help. It's just wrong. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. I have to take that off. It's awful. I may have okay, good. I ruined that cutscene with it, but I will not do so again. Ah, uh, oh no! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I okay. Well, they called for a helicopter. Ah, oh, I fucking skipped a cutscene. I skipped a cutscene. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. I can't, well actually, I guess I, I can, uh, I think, I think I can go to the I think I can go to the cutscene theater. I think I should be able to see it again. Is he crying? Of 
course a fucking parrot. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No. This one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Ah. Ass kicked. <laughs> I've ruined this cutscene with the riding mask. You've seen my face. Can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. So is my Colonel Volgan is oh, magically okay, electrical. Okay. Jack, you can't come with us. And don't. Oh, Volga's not so much a samurai, he's just a magical electrical Russian. The new blood has been rejected. Uh, so, he's, well, he's not older, he's essentially the same oh, age as Solid here. Snake, um, but this is not Solid Snake, this is now, Naked Snake, which is facility. the guy that Solid Snake was... Um, clone from. Shagohad is ours. Or at least I assume he's supposed to be roughly the same age. Drift away. Yeah, payback for the soldiers. My place is with them now. Oh, no, sorry, this isn't actually Raiden. I'm just wearing a Raiden mask. I put on the Raiden mask and it's just awful. It, it's the worst. <laughs> Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic, 
Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. <sighs> Just Stay take the knife. Me. I've seen people put it to your throat. Before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Okay. Healing yeah. is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left analog stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left analog stick to select the if medical you know what item I mean. and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need hey, disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Oh man. So step one. Instead of going oh fuck, I can't. I'm still stuck with the goddamn riding mask. Okay, well let's uh So what? We've got a cut. I need to disinfect yeah. Disinfect. I need to bandage. Oh, and I need to styptic. That's fine though, I think. <laughs> uh, so wait, what's what's going on here? So bleeding, no bandage, not yet disinfected. So we need to disinfect, we need to styptic, we need to bandage. Oh, and we need to suture, I believe, yeah, and suture. Okay, so this is deep cut, bleeding, no bandage, not disinfected. So, styptic, disinfect, suture, bandage, bone fractured, we need splint, and a bandage, bone fractured, we need a splint, and a bandage. Uh, cut, so we need styptic, disinfect, suture, bandage. Yep, surgery on yourself, it's the best way to go. He opted to take the riding mask off, though. So, yeah, it can be used to heal all ailments. What happened to Soklov? We missed that in the cutscene that I that I skipped. But he was taken by uh, we'll he was taken by the boss in that helicopter. As soon as I get an opportunity, I'll save 
I think I can go back to that cutscene in the cutscene viewer. So you can see a skeleton there. Um, I don't remember if it's explained ever or not, but I can I can talk about that. Shagohod. Shagohod. <laughs> An obscene medical journal. It wasn't graphic or anything for the self-surgery. The only thing that was like slightly graphic is when he was re uh, rejigging his arm, whatever he pulled it, just reinserted it into his socket, I guess. Toys to play with. Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. <laughs> KGB. We may be able to use her. She is spunk. Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Just, you know, waste that. Even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend that 